Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to my channel for another Lunar New Year decoration video. Now, I like the Lunar New Year decoration we've got within the game. Dragons are definitely something that I like, and I have my own dragon here next to me as well well and I do like it purchased it many many years ago now this decoration we've got is called the hidden dragon and as you can see from me placing down all of the base pieces here you can see the dragons popping up and down it's kind of like that game where you need a hammer and then you whack the moles as they come up so whack a mole I think it's called now design wise is definitely something that I'm interested in so I'm kind of like thinking how can I use these within a design if I decide to purchase these uh, with the diamonds that it's going to cost within the game what can I do with them now we've already got some existing dragon decoration in the game so the swing and defense will be available until the 18th and this one will be available until the 19th and it's going to cost you 79 diamonds to grab one of these pieces so how many of them will you be picking up and adding to your collection now, as a single decoration piece, it is rather interesting. I like the cobble piece around the side, I like the red and the gold and then the jade fixture. I like the fact that you've got dragons popping up and down as well. Uh, I wish I could have had like a single piece with a dragon head coming up so I could have moved it around and not like four pieces stuck together. That would have been my personal preference. But designing is what I really want to do. So what I'm going to do is to take some of these pieces, throw them into a Lunar New Year design as you can see here and then tweak it slightly for you as well just to give you some ideas on how you can modify this now I did mention in previous videos that I'd like to see you guys creating some wonderful Lunar New Year building designs with a lot of these fences and some other pieces now there are a lot of existing decoration already within the game We've got that jade decoration that has come out in previous years. I like the path pieces. I like the actual jade dragon bells. The pavilion there from previous years is nicely balanced with a central entrance piece there. So it looks good in any design if you only have one of those. Uh, with some of the other pavilions or gazebos, it's more like an off left or right side entrance. But this one is like a central piece here, which makes it much better. Adding in some of those cobblestone path pieces or stone path pieces, depending on what you have in your storage, can make a wonderful building style design as well. Imagine you're visiting a shrine or a temple, uh, creating a hotel style design using the outhouses. I'm looking forward to seeing what you are going to do. Now for myself, I love the red, I love the green, I love the gold combination here. And I'm kind of like thinking, how can I make this a little bit better? Now with these dragon fences, you get the ability to create more dragons. So what I would like to do to this one is to place a few more dragons off to the front there, which is what I'm going to do in a moment. Uh, additionally, I'm looking at maybe moving around some of these pieces and seeing where else I could place them. Now I do like those lamps with the hanging bells. I think they are very cool indeed. Uh, I also enjoy or like uh, the actual uh, lions there that came in the game previously. Um, I do have some favorite pieces from the Jade, but uh, I must admit uh, these new dragon fences are definitely very cool indeed. Mm. I wish I could join the other red fences to them as well. Uh, it would make the designs much, much more diverse and creative. Now you can see the two fences we've got down there. So you've got the red fence there at the bottom, and then you've got the dragon fence just below that as well. In combination, placed one behind the other, they are rather cool to look at. So again, when you start creating these designs, placing them down, using the edit mode like I'm here, switch them around, see what is your preference now at the end of the day the hidden dragon does look very nice there it gives you kind of like a, a flat based uh, appeal to the pavilion and the grounding uh, with that dragon popping up it is very nice um, I'm definitely tempted to place more of those around the pavilion creating a kind of like a patchwork style effect as well and I think that could be kind of interesting to look at as well. Those are the dragons that I wanted to do. So what do you think? Are you going to create a Lunar New Year decoration like this or are you just going to buy simple pieces and add them into a town or file design? Let me know. Comment below on your preferences or likes and maybe you can have some dragons popping up through the actual covers 
into your design for the rest of us to look at. Now this is what I mean by a singular piece. I wish it had been a single one and not necessarily the four option like this, but I'm happy either way. Now the next one we've got here is the dragon paddling. Now this one will come with 130 diamonds and like with the previous decorations I do have a specific wish as well. Now I like the fact that the water's coming out of the mouth but I would like it to have been much bigger. Maybe something like the actual pond that we got within the game earlier. But either way it's still a nice decoration and I look forward to seeing how you actually use it. Next one I want down on there is this gorgeous dragon chase. Now for me this is probably one of the more interesting decos because it's very animated. Again it comes with diamonds and if you do decide to purchase it I would definitely recommend buying more than one set. What you'll get is a double set of boxes which you can then place down and dragons jump from one side into the other side as you can see here with these imagery. Now again like with other decoration we've got for the Lunar New Year you can mix and match these pieces together creating a wonderful design. With this animated effect of the dragons jumping from left to right, from right to left depending on how you place them from one box to another box you can be really creative indeed. Now how would you like to use these I wonder? Are they a town effect? Are they a farm based decoration? Now for the farm probably I'm not going to use them there. If I were to create some thing uh, outside of the dev build I probably would put it into the town I think it would be a nice town style Lunar New Year event now, recently I went to Chinatown in Kobe I watched the dragon dances there and seeing all of this dragon decoration based around the similar kind of theme is very nice indeed uh, as you can see here, they do move in sync, um, sometimes pairs coming out, sometimes a single one, switching them around does change the effect as well, uh, so based on the way that you place those down will also vary the dragons jumping from one to another. Now, they are a mirrored effect, so if you do turn them sideways as an example, um, you do create a very interesting pattern. Spreading them out like this makes them much more enjoyable to look at as well, and it gives you the appearance that they're actually moving from one box to another box. So if you did put them in the town, definitely spreading them out is something you might want to consider. Right, now we've got even more Dragon Deco actually available in the game, and this next one I think is really, really cool, and that is the Dragon Dance. You'll notice there's a lot of chickens built into the costume. Again, this one comes with diamonds. Now, for me, the decoration is nice, but considering what I'm used to seeing with a Dragon Dance here in Asia, I had hoped that this would be much, much better in relation to its animation. Okay, the body does move, and you have this kind of like ripple effect, which reminds me of a, a stadium where play, uh, fans stand up and sit down. But it doesn't actually move much more than that. I was really hoping that it would move around the actual design itself. Now we've also been given some additional decoration in the store as well. So this one will cost you 39 diamonds and that's the lantern fence. You can get five of those. It's an awesome Chinese decoration and I like it a lot. Next one is the rooster statue. This one is one of the previous year's decorations. 69 diamonds for this one. It has a chicken as well and that moves around the base. The next one which I like to think of more as my Easter deco even though it was last year's Lunar New Year deco uh, for the Zodiac Rabbit sign. You'll get five of those hedges for 69 diamonds. Now what I've done here is placed every single deco that we've got now for this Lunar New Year down within a design. So you can see the dragons down at the bottom, you can see the fences, you can see some of the jade decoration. And you can see a beautiful design incorporating many of the pieces that we've actually got or could purchase. So if you wanted to make something extravagant, green, gold, red and beautiful, there's a lot of possibilities within the game itself. Now like I said for me I'm probably more interested in doing this within the town and that would be my preference so if I were to redesign after purchasing all of these this is what I would definitely do. 
as I mentioned before, with the hidden dragon jumping up and down, I kind of like a singular piece, not the four option. With the pools, they don't really do much. Like I said, it would have been nice to have something inside or maybe bigger like the pond effect. But either way, you can still make a beautiful design. And I'd love to see how you are incorporating this. In today's stream, I saw some pieces which were very nice indeed um, for the different seasons and different designs. Right, that is it. There's a lot of decoration available within the game at the moment. Okay, most of this deco will now be available until the 19th, so you've got a few days to purchase it should you wish to do so. If you are going to buy the deco, please do use a creator code, as I mentioned before. Mine is Red Knight, R3 D K N I G H T, or one of the other content creators from any of the Supercell games based on your preference. What's more important for me, see the little circle? That's a subscribe button. Why not click on that one and subscribe to my channel? That would really do me a big favor indeed as I work towards my goal of 75,000 and then later 100. But either way, I'll see you next time. You take care and enjoy the Lunar New Year. Bye now.